you for joining me today as I explain how Cushing syndrome is diagnosed and treated. If you discuss with your veterinarian that your horse is showing signs of Cushing's, they are likely to recommend one of several diagnostic tests. The most commonly used tests are the dexamethasone suppression test, called the DST, and the ACTH stimulation test. These tests may actually be harmful to your horse's health, and I don't recommend them. A DST requires the administration of dexamethasone, which can result in laminitis. The test can have false positives and negatives, which is another reason to avoid using this diagnostic tool. The ACTH stimulation test causes the horse to release its own natural steroid, and again, there is the same concern of risks and false positives. There has also been discussion about these two tests being subject to seasonal irregularities. A more benign diagnostic tool involves a series of fasting blood tests, usually given 12 hours apart to look for high insulin and blood glucose levels. Although all Cushing's horses have high insulin levels, it is possible for false positives with this test as well. Once diagnosed, the most common treatment prescribed is pergolide mesylate, now being sold under the brand name Prescend. Unfortunately, this drug has several negative side effects including loss of appetite, weight loss, and lethargy. Because this drug therapy is lifelong, there is the possibility of resistance and a decrease in effectiveness. Rather than waiting for, your, for Cushing's to fully develop, I believe prevention is always the best course of action. Removing the common sources of stress from your horse's daily environment including high sugar feeds, chemical exposure from daily dewormers, overuse of vaccinations, and excessive unnecessary drugs can reduce the risk of Cushing's. Proper nutrition is critical for prevention and management. To learn more about the ideal feed program for the Cushing's horse, please watch my video on that subject. In addition to addressing your horse's nutritional needs, it is important that you understand that Cushing's is a response to chronic stress. You should carefully examine your vaccine protocol to ensure only the most essential vaccines are used, if any at all. Instead of pasty worming on a set schedule or feeding a daily dewormer, consider regular fecal egg counts to be sure that you only deworm when it's absolutely necessary. For show horses, calming drugs should be replaced by a more natural approach like tryptothane. I hope this helps you understand more about the shortfalls of traditional diagnostic testing and treatment and the importance of prevention for Cushing's. I encourage you to watch my other videos on this syndrome. I am Dr. Mark DiPaolo and this video was brought to you by DiPaolo Equine Concepts.